Morning, morning, morning. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Love 500 and welcome back to just a quick update on Project Foxy. Project Foxy has come to an end, as you saw in the last video, uh, and I'm still waiting for the person to come and look at it. Work's got in the way and so on and so forth, but there is a bit of an issue and I want to try and sort this issue out because I can't really sell it like it. Um, let me just explain what's going on. So let's do it. driving it around last week with the roof down I didn't really notice anything but when I've been driving it with the, with the roof um, up I noticed some dro a droning noise coming from the back I couldn't identify whether it was left or right um, my immediate thought was let me get out of the rain my immediate thought was wheel bearings um, now it would be unusual not to be able to tell which side it's coming from it's just coming from the rear of the car and it sounds more like road noise, but it is a, a droning noise. Now, I, I spoke to, uh, to Sean or the Isle of Wight, who I mentioned quite a lot. Um, now he had a similar problem with his daughter's uh, lounge. Um, and he said he took it to, to three different garages who couldn't find anything wrong with it. Uh, and to cut a long story short, it turned out to be the tires. Um, and he, he said those tires were old, out of date, and that's what they did, and he changed the tires and it was fine. What I'm gonna try doing on here is, uh, because I, because these wheels have been, you know, different cars, some new tire or part worn tires and so on, I don't know which one's which. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap both backs for both fronts. So I'm gonna jack it up in the middle, get one side off the ground and swap them over. And then I'm gonna take it for a spin. My other thought was that the back brakes are binding and it's that that's causing it. Now the, the, the faster you go, it doesn't do it until you're doing about 20 mile an hour-ish. And then the faster you go, the louder it gets. I've not been above about 40, 45, so I don't know if it would carry on increasing or not. I don't know. Um, but I've got to do it. Now, what I've done is I have, I've, I've actually gone to Euro Car Parts and I've bought some um, wheel bearings. So I've got a set of wheel bearings. Um, but I want to, obviously, I'm going to try the tyres first. So I'm going to get this up in the air, swap them over, um, and then we'll take it for a spin. And hopefully I'll report back and say it's gone and I don't need to do the wheel bearings. So uh, I'll, uh, I'll be back in a set and I'll let you know. Whew, right, that was uh, a job and a half in the rain. Okay, so they're all swapped over. Fronts to back, back to fronts. Uh, I mean, there's nothing obvious on the tyres. I, I, I don't know how to read the codes for dates. Um, I should have Googled it and have a, had a proper look. Potentially, uh, what from what... Uh, Sean was saying there's a there's a code on the tire somewhere that you can sort of a bit like a driving license number where you can uh, you know work out the the age it was manufactured I think it has like the month and the year of manufacture and so I haven't I haven't bothered looking it up at this point but um, it's definitely coming from the rear so hopefully hopefully it, this is going to do it yeah I've also uh, been talking to Sean and yes I do talk to Sean quite a lot <laughs> it's not actually in person or on the phone it's, it's always like audio messages via whatsapp it's not very often very rarely I actually physically speak to him um, but uh, we'll be going through this stereo as well and he's definitely got three lots of settings on this stereo we'll go through this in a bit but um, he's got three lots of settings one of them includes a sleep function <sighs> I bugger if I can find it but I'm gonna have another look anyway uh, yet again today um so i'm just gonna take this out for a spin and then we'll come back and uh, fingers crossed hopefully it might have done the trick that we don't need to change the um wheel bearings because there's not really anything else it could be is there that's the only really the only moving part you know it, it's not like it's a a knocking on suspension or anything like that it's had um yeah it's it's a constant droning noise what else could it possibly be anyway uh i'll take a drive come back let you know right, no i'm back uh, i literally got to about 18 miles an hour just driving up my road and it, and it was exactly the same now i'm sort of leaning towards it's the driver's side rather than the passenger side i think I but then again that's the side of the car i'm sitting on of course now there is one because i never noticed this before i have to say you know when it was taken down to the body shop and when it came back from the body shop um albeit a year later um, um I, I never noticed it so the only thing, the only other thing that I'm thinking it could possibly be 
was if you remember, before I took it for the MOT, um, I tightened up the handbrake. And now the, the travel on the handbrake cable is not that much, on the handbrake, on the, on the lever, is not that much and quite tight. So I'm wondering whether the back brakes are binding slightly. I don't know whether that would have shown up on the MOT. Probably not. Obviously the, uh, the force of the handbrake and the force of the brakes is obviously measured, but yeah, I don't know. So it could be. So all I'm going to do is I've got my 10 mil spanner out. I'm going to take off that back part of that center console again. Uh, I'm going to put it in gear, take the handbrake off, and I'm going to loosen that off a bit and then take it out again and try it. You never know. No, I loosened the handbrake off, went for a drive, exactly the same. So I basically loosened the handbrake off so there was no handbrake. Um, and unless they're binding and I don't know about it. Now, bearing in mind that you have to take all that apart, take that off when you do the bearings anyway. So if it happened to be that, then that would cure it at the same time. So bearings are gonna be done. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I've, I've had another go on stereo, exactly the same. There's nothing there. The, my, my display, my options are different to Sean's ones. Um, the only setting that I've got is one that says a shutdown delay. You can have it as nothing. So every time you switch it off, it boots up straight away from scratch. And the maximum you can have is an hour. So if I got back in the car now, it would start up in five seconds. If I leave it an hour and come back, it will be down to zero. You know, it'll boot from scratch again. Well, Sean's, Sean's, Sean has got a different menu, and on his one, it's, it's in days. So he, he's got his set to three days. He can set it to seven days. So if, you sit, if your car's sitting there with the, with the uh, ignition live off for seven days, then his will start up from scratch as well. Obviously a battery saving thing, but on mine, there is a different, there's not the same setting. Mine is worded differently in a different menu, and mine is, is in, minutes rather than days uh, with the maximum being an hour i don't know why i don't know why um in future when i buy any of these stereos and i will be buying more uh, i will i will make sure i buy the one that sean has got because it is more plug and play and it seems to work better than this one anyway uh we'll be back at some other point um in the near future and hopefully we'll get this sorted out. I, I can, the, the person can still come and look at it uh, and still we can still go for a spin and so on. Um, but obviously I can't let it go until such time as that's done. Uh, I will be back. Right, so Project Foxy is still a little bit ongoing. Um, it is sold. Um, I haven't got the money yet, but it is sold uh, and will be finished on Monday, um, as I said to you earlier on in this video. So we had an issue with the stereo. I will explain to you what happened and I'll show you a picture as well. So. I was experimenting changing the startup picture so it doesn't come up with the Android logo, so it came out of the picture of a car. Um, easy enough to do. I did it, I selected the picture, uh, I shut it down, went back the following morning. When I booted it up, this is what happened. Now, not good. I tried and tried and tried. Couldn't get it to work. I was talking to Sean in the Isle of Wight. Uh, he suggested, we were clutching at straws, but he suggested when you start, when you turn the ignition on and it comes on and it's doing that, try putting it in reverse and see if the reversing camera came, comes up. And I said, well, it's not going to do that because it doesn't come up until it's booted up anyway. Um, but I said, I'll try it in the morning. So I went out in the morning, tried it. Green, green stuff at the top again put it into reverse, the green stuff went, and that was replaced by an intermittent white line in the middle of the screen, and all of a sudden it came up. The picture, the reversing camera picture came up and took it out, slipped it out of gear, back into neutral, Android logo, booted up fine, gone into the settings, changed it back to that Android logo on boot up, and it seems to be all right. So somehow, that picture, which was presumably the wrong format, wrong resolution and so on, has caused it to go in some sort of, it, it looked like it was in a loop and just wasn't starting up. Seems a bit daft that that could have done that, but I can't think what else it could have been, but it seems fine now. I panicked the night before. I thought the car is going next week. I've got a stereo now that won't start up. So I went onto Amazon and I ordered one, the one with a bigger screen with a small events. That's the only one I could get delivered next day. Luckily, following morning, well, actually, that was that evening. 
after sorting it out, I cancelled it. So that, that order was cancelled. That was at like £178 or something like that. But wasn't the one I wanted. But that's what I was going to have to do. But it's sorted. Just wanted to let you know. Nightmare. So I'm not touching it. It's staying as it is now. I'm not going to try and do that anymore. So that's it. So it's just the hubs to do. Uh, I did notice uh, when I went out and moved it the other day uh, that the repeater on the in, on the near side wing isn't working now i don't think the bulb's blown i reckon the, i reckon the bulb holders come out and fallen down inside because there's no warning lights or anything and it's not doing multiple flashes on the indicators when you when you lock and unlock so i think it's probably just fallen in so i'll have to once again get it up in the air peel back that arch liner and uh, have a fiddle up there <laughs> pardon my french um yeah so we'll do that and i think that'll be it then hopefully and then of course as we know glenn's coming monday to uh, to get it to uh, get those um, bearings changed and then they will we'll be done then. Car, I spoke to the lady last night actually. She called me and she said, oh, she was going to transfer the money last night. Uh, she didn't, but um, uh, yeah, she'll probably transfer it before Monday anyway. So that's it for the time being. We'll come back um, as and when, probably on Monday. Um, oh, someone has oh cancelled tracking. What's all that about? I pressed the button on my camera. Um, someone has asked me on uh, YouTube about the little grommets. That go underneath actually that's another thing actually someone else asked me can we have a look underneath and i never did show you so we'll get under there now i'm going to get one of those grommets out because i've actually got a couple missing and they were asking have i got a part number do i know where i, where I can get them the answer to that is no but i'm hoping it might be sort of embossed with on, within one of them so i'm going to pull one out uh, and we'll have a look but I'll, I'll show you the underneath as well because i think someone was questioning the quality of the work it looks fine under there i have to say but i'll show you and then you can make your own minds up we'll get under there now Ooh. all right hopefully you can see it all these are the things i was talking about so we'll pull one of those out in a second but i don't know how well in focus this is but yeah it all looks good underneath so we've got one missing there which is a bit annoying. They were taken out and they were put in the car, but I imagine that's where the major crunch was, if I, if I remember. And it's probably, it had probably fallen out, you know, at the crash. But we'll take one of these out and we'll have a look, see if it's got a number on it so we can let the fella know on, on YouTube. Um, but yeah, that's the underneath. All looks good. Yeah. So it's all done now. Money's been paid, as I said. The hub's been done. Uh, Glenn, the mechanic, got here. Um, he did something that I don't know why I didn't do, and I completely forgot or never even gave it a thought. He jacked it up at the back, spun the wheels, identified it straight away as being the driver's side. Um, so he said to me, do you want me to do both? He said, it's a waste of time, but I'll do both if you want. So I said, no, nope, don't worry, just do the one. So he's done the right one, uh, and it's all perfectly good now. Uh, so yeah, it's all done. I'm, uh, I haven't taken any photos of it all finished because uh, it's sold me without me obviously advertising it, so I just need to go around and take a few pictures from my Instagram and from my own records, and that's it. The uh, lady's uh, coming to pick it up at quarter past six this evening. So say goodbye to Project Foxy. It's been a long time. We've had it for almost two years, but at long last, she's done and she's ready to go. So wave goodbye. So that is Project Foxy done, finished at last. I'm so pleased that she's going today to a new home and she is looking, I have to say, after all the grief that I've had with this car, doing that bloody beam, crawling underneath in the cold, putting that new beam on, having grief with the brakes, getting that done. That was when I first met Glenn. Glenn that was the first job he did for me when he sorted those, um, the brake pipes out for me. Went to the body shop, sat there for a year, came back, and then we've been working on it to get it up to the standard it's at now. And I think it looks bloody good. With those black wheels as well, looks fabulous. Anyway, that's it. End of Project Foxy. Thanks for watching. As always, if you're not a subscriber, don't forget, hit the button, subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. And we'll see you on the next project, which will be uh, the new car, I think. That will be the, your new car. Not your new car, my new car. Uh, we'll have a little delivery and walk around of that probably on Sunday, if not a bit of following week. But uh, yeah, as I, was, as I say, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care, stay safe, and we'll see you soon.